Let's take a look at the estimating the mean questions. You can use a calculator for all of these questions and you'll probably need to because there's quite a lot of difficult multiplication going on. So the first thing we need to do is in question one and for all of these questions is work out the midpoint. What is midway between 60 and 80? Well, that's easy, it's 70. What's midway between 81 and 100? Well, that's much harder. What we're gonna do, add the two numbers together and then divide the total by two. So 181 divided by two, 90.5 101 plus 120 divide that by 2 110.5 121 plus 140 and divide that by 2 is 130.5 this column here is fairly self-explanatory it says midpoint times frequency so we need to multiply these two figures so that comes to um, 3710 the next one is 8235.5. Next one is 10387. And finally, 8091. Now it's all very well just chucking these numbers in, but do you understand what's going on here? So what we know is that we are looking at um, some people who did a half marathon, and we know that 53 people ran between 60 and 80 minutes. Now we don't know exactly what their times were somewhere between 60 and 80. Now they could have all run it in 60 minutes and one second or 79 and a half minutes. So what we're doing is we are assuming that all of them took 70 minutes, which is exactly halfway between the lower and the upper limit. Now, if we're working out the mean time, we want the total time divided by the number of runners. Now the total time for this these 53 people is gonna be 53 lots of 70 minutes. So that is why we're getting this number here. This is the total time for these 53 runners. This is the total time for these 91 runners who we are all assuming ran it in 90 and a half minutes. We don't, again, we don't know exactly what their times were, but so we're assuming this is halfway between 81 and 100. So therefore, if I add up all these uh, row totals, I'm gonna get 304, 23, Point five. So this is the, going to be the total time for all 300 runners. So therefore, the mean time is going to be the total time, which is 30,423.5 minutes divided by the 300 runners. And that works out as 101.4 minutes. Uh, we've been told to give our answer to the nearest whole number. So that is 101 minutes. Question two, again, let's just work out the midpoints. So there's no midpoint for zero, so that's just zero. 1.5, 4.5 and eight. And now we just need to do midpoint uh, times the frequency. So we're gonna get zero, 18, 18, 16. Add this column up, we're going to get 52. So 52 is gonna be divided by uh, 25. So we're, we're assuming that in total there are 52 pets shared among 25 children and 52 divided by 25 is 2.08 and giving our answer to the nearest whole number is two. So the answer is two pets. Question number three, first of all, let's work out the midpoint. So between zero and 99 is 49.5, 149.5, 249.5, and 349.5 midpoint times frequency. So we're multiplying these two columns together to get 5742, 16744, 19211.5, and 20970. And again, add this column up, we're going to get 6266. 7.5 and this is the figure which we need to divide by 365 and that comes to 171.69 or 172 to the nearest whole number. Question number four here we've not been given the midpoint column so we need to create a midpoint column and then we also need to create a frequency times midpoint column as well. What's the midpoint between zero and 17? That is 8.5. Between 18 and 30 is 24, 47.5 and 70. 
now frequency times by midpoint, 155 times 85, 1317.5, 7320, 11352.5, and finally 5810. And we're going to add these frequency times midpoint numbers together. I'm going to get a total of 25,800 and this is the figure which we are dividing by 782 and that comes to 32.99 which to the nearest whole number is 33. Again if we're not understanding what's going on here uh, maybe see some of the earlier videos uh, well see the beginning of this video we we know that 155 people are between the ages of 0 and 17. We don't know how old they are, so we're assuming that all of them are halfway between 0 and 17. So we're assuming that they're all eight and a half years old. So if we're working out the average age, we need the total age divided by the number of people. So the total ages of these 155 people is 155 times their age, which we're assuming is eight and a half. That's where this figure here comes from. So these uh, numbers here are the totals that is the total estimated age of the 155 people in this age category and the 305 in this age category etc so therefore the total age of all of them is these numbers added together that's what the 25,800 is and then the mean age is the total age divided by the number of leisure centre members and that's where we get our final answer from really does help if you understand why you're doing some of these uh, calculations Again, question five, I'm going to do a midpoint column and a midpoint times frequency. Midpoint of 0 to 19 is 9.5, then it's 29.5, 49.5, 69 69.5, and then 90. Midpoint times by frequency, we're just multiplying these two columns together, and we're going to get 19, 147.5, 396, 764.5, and finally 4 times 90, which is 360. Add this column together, we, we will get 1687, and this is the number which we are dividing by the frequency total, which is 30, and 1687 divided by 30 comes to 56. 0.23, which to the nearest whole number is 56. And question six, again, we are going to be doing our uh, midpoint column and then midpoint times frequency column. The midpoint zero to 10 is five, 15.5, 25.5, and 45.5. Midpoint times frequency, well, 2 times 5 is 10. Just continue um, down this column doing the same thing. 10 times 15.5 is uh, 155. Next number is going to be 688.5, 248.5, and 273. So add this uh, column up here, and we get a total of 1375. So our Estimated mean is going to be 1375 divided by the frequency total, which is 52, which comes to 26.44 or 26 to the nearest whole number. So what we need to do now is we've estimated um, that, um, well, first of all, we're told that the average price is £25 per item. So how many items were sold in total? Well, that is this figure here, although it's an estimate because, again, we don't know exactly how many. Um, we just know that it's somewhere between 0 and 10, so we're assuming it's 5. So we're going to multiply £25 by 1,375 items, and that comes to a total of £34,375.